Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. I have here the Polestar 2 long range single motor. A few specs, 78 kilowatt hour battery, 75 kilowatt hours can be used. Front wheel drive, 170 kilowatt. Uh, WRTP range is around 450 kilometers, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, 7.3 seconds. What else do we have? A charging, 150 kilowatt DC charging, 11 kilowatt peak, 11 kilowatt AC charging. And today I'm going to do a range test at 90 kilometers an hour, which should simulate, <laughs> I'm doing this, um, if you drive country road and city. It's never perfect, but this is how I can compare different cars. At 90 kilometers an hour, you have less drag, as same as in the city and on the country road. I will do 130 kilometers an hour range test as well, where you have just more drag. So if you know if you're driving long distance, and then we'll see what the range is there. But uh, today the, the the test will be a bit different. Usually I do it in one uh, uh, trip, but today I have to I have to do it in two steps because I'm driving to Regensburg. Um, at 90 kilometers an hour uh, uh, GPS speed um, cruise control, but there I will test drive a Tesla Model Y performance made in Germany. So watch out for the for that video. I will park the Polestar 2 there just for an hour or so, but no preheating anything. So the result, I try to be again always at the 89 kilometers an hour average speed. I try to be there as well. I'm on my way. I'm driving 92 kilometers an hour, which is GPS speed 90. I started at 83% because it, the cars charged so slow from 79, 80% on uh, 40 uh, kilowatt and then under 40 kilowatt at 81%. And even to 90%, it would have taken me another 20 minutes, but it's 8.30 and I have my appointment with the Model Y at 10. It's 92 kilometers, so it took, should take an hour now with that, with that speed. So it should be there at 9.30. We'll see. Um, I have uh, the heat on at 22 degrees. Can have an extra button for heater. And it's 14 degrees outside. It's nice and comfy. I have self-steering on. It's amazing that in, in the Polestar you can do this with the button to the right. In the Volvo you couldn't do that. And yes, so let's see what range we get. And don't pay attention to the average consumption right now uh, because the first 10 kilometers is uphill on my test as always. So it's really because at the end of the, of the trip I drive 10 kilometers downhill. So it's really about that the average consumption is only true at the end. Come on, drive, slow poke. Yeah, a lot of people don't know how to go into a highway. You have to accelerate. It's even cold, acceleration, line, whatever. Beschleunigungsstreifen. I'm at 56%, I just missed it, so this is 27% used. I wanted to do 25. I was already, already did my uh, uh, ride with the Model Y, um, so my average speed is a bit low, so I will drive a bit faster, around 100, to get it up to 88, 89, um, because I was driving a bit slower in the city to Beep, beep, that's when you don't hold the steering wheel <coughs> when the steering assist is on. But I turned down the heat. It's better uh, on the way here. There was even a traffic jam because there was an accident, but only five minutes or so. And then it even started to rain for a tiny bit. Um, and of this time, I will put five minutes off where I was waiting at lights to get the real average speed. 
but other than that it's a pretty nice ride I, I, I like driving in here more than in the Model Y that I just drove <laughs> um, just because of the steering and not so hard suspension the steering is just way too direct even in comfort mode in a Model Y It was just raining for the last 20 minutes. Um, my consumption is 174, but because of my speeding up to get the average speed up, I'm pretty, I, I would deduct 0 0.5, so 50 watt hours per kilometer. Um, my average speed is now pretty good. I will deduct five minutes here too, waiting at the light a few times where the time keeps running but uh, there's no consumption at all since I didn't have the heat on for a while. Now I have it on, but I think I can turn it down again. Turn off the heat, the seat heater on. <coughs> Car says I still have 170 kilometers of range. And let's see what Google Maps says. Yeah, this looks more like if I would really drive 90 kilometers an hour. It's better than in the in the Volvo. So now 14% arrival in 50 minutes, 87 kilometers. Yeah, 87 kilometers on the highway would take me 55 minutes. But the time is not so accurate. But 14% seems to be good. I think that's the route I will be taking after rain sensor on, but right now it doesn't want to rain sensor it. Do it on full sensitivity. Does it do anything more? Yeah, it does. Where's the next exit then? Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Come on. Is there another dingle thing? Yeah, maybe I take the next dingle thing. I drove 293.3 kilometers. Google Maps says it should be 297. Uh, took three hours, 23 minutes. That's approximately the 89 kilometers an hour average speed that it says down there, when, especially when I deducted the time that I was waiting on the light. Consumption, um, it was raining um, a few times so on a normal day and also I had to speed up like I said so I calculated the range I arrived with 19% started with 83 so we used 64 and I drove 297 kilometers so that would mean 464 kilometers and again it was raining and I had to speed up a bit because traffic jam and going off the highway for 10 kilometers or so so I think uh, in, in good temperatures, 500 kilometers should be almost 500, 480, 490 kilometers should be possible in country and city use. I even had the heat on, uh, 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 would say 40% of the time, but it's, it was the uh, temperature outside was 13 to 16 degrees, so it didn't do too much. But there was a cool test, great car to drive, very comfortable. I like it. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.